Hi, I'm Chris Falkowski, and I joined the Army and the Army Reserves in 1976. I was in the next to the last Women Army Corps graduating class for basic training. Um, and of course, the WACs are no longer um, part of the Army. Now everyone, of course, is a soldier. But I'm quite proud of that. In 76, I joined in May. So needless to say, it wasn't the most popular time in American history to go into the military. It wasn't quite a full year since the fall of Saigon, and there were still a lot of bad feelings over Vietnam. But I felt it was important to um, show my patriotism. So I started off in the reserves. And uh, I have a nursing degree, but I wanted to stay in the enlisted ranks because I felt that that was the best place to be able to get the experience and the knowledge that I wanted and I could support folks. I was lucky, got to be a medic, and was trained to be a flight medic. I spent 20 years between the reserves and the Army, did a lot of training, and I trained flight medics for dust off. And I've even trained some of the young men and women who were in Desert Storm and are now in Iraqi Freedom. So I know that they're doing a great job because they trained hard, they worked hard. Part of my time was at Fitzsimmons Army Medical Center in Denver, Colorado, which is no more. Although it is owned now by the University of Colorado Health Sciences Center, so I know that the hospital's still being used and the ghosts that are there are gonna appreciate the fact that they're doing training there now for upcoming doctors and nurses for the future. I met my husband in the military and um, he retired after 24 years. Um, he was in Vietnam as a young man, he was drafted. After he got back from Vietnam, he took a couple of years off and then decided to go into the officer basic training course. And so he became an officer, but I'll forgive him. He was a great guy, he really is. Um, experience in engineering, experience in aviation, and in fact, it's the aviation that brought the two of us together. Was it a little tough being an enlisted person and dating an officer, you bet. In the long run, we had some really great folks, terrific commanders, who realized that we were professionals, so they didn't give us any grief about that. We were married in 1991, and we had a lot of our folks from our unit at the wedding, so it was a big one for us. The very best thing I remember about serving, both reserve and active duty, were the friends that you make, because you keep them forever. We have friends all over the U.S. We'll always have them visit them. They come visit us. Um, I know I can count on those folks till the day I die. If anything ever happens to me, I know my husband can count on them too. Was it tough? You bet. There were days I wondered why I continued doing this. But most of the time, I have to tell you, it was worth it. When I was 19 and went in, I think the only cognizant thought I had was, if I do this for 20 years, I'll get a retirement and I'll be 39 and a half years old. Um, it was great. I didn't enjoy all of it, but I enjoyed the majority of it. I worked hard. I was the first woman in my unit to make it to the first sergeant's academy, and that was good. I was also the first woman in my unit that got to go to the command sergeant major's academy. I enjoyed that too. Um, I retired as a Master Sergeant E-8, U.S. Army, and I'm very proud of it. For all of you out there, whether you served or not, it's something that you should at least consider. Thanks.